Previously, we heard the princess had a day out with the manga artist, and he got retribution for forcing her physically, so he decided to learn the rules to get along with her. Episode 3. On a fine morning, Ichiro is sweeping the yard, Shiori arrives and looks dizzy. He asked about her dizziness, and Shiori told him she was reading the Master of the Lion's Fist manga last night and had completed all 15 volumes of it. He's not that surprised to see Shiori spend the whole night completing all the volumes because he knows her love for the manga. She is amazed by the intense bond between the master and the protagonist, and she mentioned that no matter how far they go, sure they will meet again as long as they keep caring for one another. Talking about the distance, Ichiro wants to check out how far they both can go to avoid getting hit by retributions. She also agreed to work with him. Last time, he got a fever for staying two stations away from her. So they decided to measure the safe distance between their stations. As Shiori left, he got hit by the retribution, so he called Shiori to explain her situation. She explains her uncomfortable situation on the crowded train. They realized he would get retribution even though she was mentally disturbed. Shiori apologizes with a sad look on her face for causing him trouble, so Ichiro lightens her up. Because of the experiment, they were able to find the least distance to stay one station away from one another. That brings her smile back again. Then they started to check the next rules, starting with physical contact. Last time, he got retribution for forceful contact. She started looking for ideas in the Lion's Fist manga for things she wouldn't want someone to do. Ichiro was shocked when she asked him to harm her like in the manga, so he asked her to change the manga genre. She picked up the shoujo manga and told him to pretend like someone and sneak behind her to close her eyes. As she turned around, he closed her eyes. He feels her hair as smooth as silk. He blushed and got stimulated, but there was no effect of retribution, so he took his hand off. They were having fun times trying some simple physical contact tips from shoujo's manga. Anyhow, neither of them receives any kind of retribution. She wants to go one step ahead but Ichiro doesn't want to get his face close to her. Shiori reminds him that this is just an experiment, so Ichiro agrees to do that. When Ichiro comes close to her, Maki and Fumio enter his room. Maki was shocked to see Ichiro and Shiori staying close to each other. They both got embarrassed. Maki closed Fumio's eyes and scolded them not to make out at home. Shiori says they were not making out, they were just trying an experiment, and she thanked Ichiro for helping her. As Maki and Fumio leaves, Ichiro tells Shiori that with this kind of experiment, she can find more things she likes to do. Shiori says she has many things she wants to try. Ichiro suggests her to write everything in notepad so that she can sort out all her favorite things. Shiori came back to her room and wondered about making digital manuscripts on the computer, because if she wanted to stay close with Ichiro, she needed to work on digital. She wishes to find another assistant job to learn digital work. On the other hand, Ichiro received a call from Morikuni, who appreciated Ichiro for his good work on the rough color sketch that he sent earlier, and told him his manga had become famous and was selling well, but most people wanted him to focus on the love story, mentioning emotion is very important. Ichiro got frustrated because Morikuni asked him to redo his plot on manuscripts. Maki and Fumio find their brother worrying and doing chores to avoid his manga work. Maki asks Ichiro to grab Fumio's cheeks, but that doesn't make him feel better. Maki realized something was not good. Meanwhile, Shiori sorted out the things she wanted to do and said she would make them happen. Shiori enters Ichiro's room and tells him she wants to start introducing herself to her new neighbors, starting with Ichiro. She thanked him for his support and asked him to choose one of the welcome gifts. He chose the towel as a welcome gift. She quickly runs to introduce herself to others. Ichiro tries to stop her, saying they won't be here during the daytime, but she goes already with excitement. Shiori walks down the stairs with a smile on her face, along with the welcome gifts. Ichiro says it is not common here to greet neighbors. Shiori believes that greeting people who live in the same apartment is a sign of friendship. Ichiro replied that people in this apartment never tried to mingle with one another. After hearing this, her smile got away. So Ichiro tells her to write letters and leave them in their package boxes along with welcome gifts. 
She is excited to write a letter for her neighbors. As Chibi arrives home, Shiori welcomes her at the entrance hall, apologizes for not offering a proper introduction the other day, and asks her to choose one of the welcome gifts. Chibi thanked her and chose the cleaner. Chibi asked her about the gifts for other neighbors. Shiori replied that she wrote the letter and was just about to leave them in their package boxes. Unfortunately, she doesn't know what other neighbors will like. So Chibi helped her to leave the perfect gifts for other neighbors. As they're talking, Ichiro appears in the entrance hall. Shiori gives him a letter and thanks him for giving amazing tips to greet neighbors. While reading the letter, Ichiro finds her generous personality. She mentioned that she wanted to be his friend. Ichiro is afraid that having a friendship with Shiori will end up being a love relationship. He doesn't want that to happen because he's carrying responsibilities on his shoulders. The next morning, when Shiori enters the kitchen, Ichiro asks her to see the whiteboard. Shiori is happy to see her new neighbors are happy with their welcome gifts. After that, Ichiro is worried about having no idea how to rewrite his plot in the manuscripts. Maki and Shiori are concerned about him, and Shiori wants to help him somehow. At that moment, their apartment doorbell rings, and Maki gets excited and mentions that she is here. Maki quickly runs to welcome Momoka Morikuni, better known as Mokane. Everyone is eating the apple pie in the dining hall brought by Mokane. Maki tells Shiori that Mokane and Ichiro are childhood friends and are married to his editor, Morikuni. Mokane is the one who taught Ichiro all about manga. When Ichiro told Shiori about her pen name, Beefcake Sensei, she was surprised to see Mokane, the creator of the Master of the Lion's Fist, and asked for her autograph. Mokane said sure and asked about her and what kind of manga she was drawing. Shiori replied that she has just started drawing and has not written any stories yet. Shiori got excited and asked Mokane to take her on as an assistant. Her smile got away when Mokane asked about her experience in digital drawing, because Shiori has no experience in digital work. Seeing the sad look on Shiori's face, Mokane decided to give her an old tablet to learn and practice digital drawing. Shiori asked why she was doing a favor for her. Mokane replied that she loves manga and wants the world to be full of manga. As Mokane leaves, she reveals that Maki messaged her to come for a visit to look after their upset brother. Shiori finds Ichiro's shoujo pen name related to Mokane. When Shiori asks about this, Mokane explains Ichiro was confused to give his shoujo manga pen name, so she gives her name as Momo Tikokon Sensei. Seeing their close relationship, Shiori sent her off with an empty look in her eyes. After that, Ichiro is wondering about the time he spent with Mokane, and suddenly he has some strange feelings, just like the retribution. So he came to check for Shiori, and there he found her with a sad look on her face. Shiori says his relationship with Mokane is bothering her. Even though Mokane is married and good-natured, their bond makes Shiori feel lonely. Shiori couldn't tell if this was jealousy or love. After taking a deep breath without knowing it, she confessed her love for Ichiro, and they both blushed. When Ichiro was about to talk, she asked him to hold his answer till tomorrow because she wanted to savor these beautiful feelings for the whole night, and she ran away. Even though Ichiro doesn't want to fall in love, he is mesmerized by her charm.